Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Sean from All Things EV and as you may have seen from my Twitter feed, last night was the Boring Company Tunnel Unveil, I suppose it would be, and uh, it was really, really interesting. In true form, in true Elon Musk form, it was a party. They had music, they had DJs, they had food, they had marshmallows and flamethrowers, or should I say not a flamethrower? So I figured I'd take a moment and just give you a behind the scenes glimpse as to what I saw there, not only pre-presentation, but the presentation and my thoughts of the whole event. So let's go ahead and dive in. So the event was held across the street from SpaceX offices and facility, and I think it may be a SpaceX parking lot that they've taken over for this drilling hole. And uh, they greeted you with a few pieces of swag, which I'll show you here. So I um, actually got a boring company hat, which is kind of cool because I thought those were uh, supposed to be a limited edition. It should be the same, I would imagine. Um, there were some pi candy pineapples with a Boring Company logo on it. You can actually smell them, it smells like pineapple. And uh, you got this cool, cool badge as well. This is very similar to the badge that I got when I was at the semi-truck event. And then they gave you a Boring Company token. More on that in just a moment. They actually did a really good job at setting this up so that you could catch a glimpse and understand a little bit better what they've been working on and what machines and tools they've been using. Right when you walk in, they had the concrete segments to create the cement tunnel there that you could see. They had an electric locomotive, which is pretty innovative because typically when you're boring these tunnels, they're using a diesel locomotive to power things. And because diesel is toxic to breathe in, especially inside of a tunnel. They uh, created an electric version and it appears like they're using Tesla batteries to power this locomotive. Maybe in the not too distant future, we might see a Tesla locomotive train, who knows? They also had a couple of Borden Company employees roasting marshmallows with a not a flamethrower, <laughs> which, um, Sounds kind of dangerous, uh, but uh, they were they were kind of cordoned off from, from the public as they were walking by. They also had a throne, a, a physical throne, with Gary the snail, in, a, an actual snail inside of a, a little container. And uh, from, from what I understand from the SpaceX employees, this is like the 10th iteration of Gary the Snail because the lifespan of snails is not that long. And as you may have seen recently, the Boring Company built a Monty Python watchtower made out of the dirt that had been excavated from the tunnels, which is really, really interesting. And to top it off, they also had an insulting Frenchman in front of this watchtower hurling insults in a, a not so great French accent. And probably the most peculiar thing that I saw was they actually at one point had these medieval knights walk out, maybe maybe five to ten knights walk out, and they ended up dueling in front of the watchtower, like literally laying into one another with swords and maces, and they were hitting each other with their uh, shields. Um, I'm, I'm not sure that that's incredibly safe, and uh, I was just crossing my fingers that no one got hurt. What about the tunnel? Let's go through a few pieces of information about this tunnel. So this is a test tunnel. This is not real. This will not be functional here. They're continuing to iterate and improve this concept, and that's exactly what it is. It's, it's just a concept at this point. So there's a lot of rough edges to this idea. It's just a little over one mile tunnel that Elon said cost them $10 million to build. And to give you some context for how inexpensive that is, the cost to build a one mile portion of a subway tunnel is $900 million. When they iron out all the kinks to this tunnel, you'll be able to travel 155 miles an hour and move 4,000 cars per hour through the tunnel. 
Elon Musk didn't go into detail, from what I can remember, about the original concept that they did this uh, animated video with these electric skates that will carry the vehicles. I think that they're still planning on doing that. They're going to build the uh, the electric skate platform that the car actually sits on and then carries the car because you obviously would not want gasoline vehicles traveling through these tunnels with the exhaust because then you'd have to have an exhaust system. However, he did specifically mention that any electric vehicle, not just Teslas, will be able to use these tunnels. So I think that's really interesting. It appears like at the moment that if you have a gasoline car, you will not be able to use these tunnels. And lastly, this autonomous Model X on skates that Elon Musk came rolling out of the tunnel into this little pit area that many of us were in to watch the presentation. So they've retrofitted this Model X to when it gets inside of the tunnel that these uh, skates sort of roll or, or move out and extend out from the vehicle. The purpose of these skates is really to keep the vehicle stable as it's traveling through the tunnel. Once the presentation was over, they did invite everyone to get rides in the tunnel. Now back to this uh, token that I mentioned in the beginning of the video. So when you walked in, not only did they give you the badge, but they handed you a token. It was like a limited edition token. And if you got one of these, you were guaranteed a ride through the tunnel, they said. But after waiting several hours in line from, I would say, 9.30 to 11.30 last night, they approached us and said that they were not going to be doing any more rides in the tunnel, that we had run out of time, and that they would take our email address down and invite us to a ride in January. So that was a little bit disappointing. I, I do want to mention for those that are watching this, uh, there, there were some people that did actually get rides. However, they did say that no one was able to film inside of the tunnel last year evening. So I don't feel like I missed out on a whole lot and I'm not sure if I'll take them up on the offer to fly back out to Los Angeles just to do the tunnel ride. I think it would be kind of cool, but it's probably going to be pretty short. Now what I probably could do if we do get the invite, which I assume we will, is I may fly out and uh, I may try and get a tour of the SpaceX facility as well as knock out an interview with Tesloop, which if you remember them, they did a recent pivot with their business. Who all was at this event? Because a lot of people were really wondering. Initially, Elon Musk said that this would be a public unveiling where the public could get rides, but at the last minute, they ended up changing it to a private event, which is probably pretty smart of them. There were all the who's who of the Tesla community, so I uh, got to chat it up briefly with Ben from Teslanomics, Eric and David from Derek, the YouTube channel, were there as well, chatted with them. Tesla Geeks was there. Alex from e for electric was there. Casey Neistat was there. Also saw Dan from What's Inside as well as Jerry Rig Everything. And I got a few selfies with some Tesla royalty. Jerome Guillen as well as Franz von Holzhausen. So my overall impression of this is that Boring Company has a long way to go to really sort of massage this idea into something that's actually going to be viable. It's still a very rough concept. They've made a lot of progress, obviously, from when Elon initially mentioned that he was gonna start creating tunnels underneath the ground, but I think they've got a lot of work to do. Still very, very promising, and if he can execute on this, I think it's going to be a potentially strong solution for LA's traffic as well as any other major city. I hope you found this video valuable and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing and if you're a regular hit that like button and I'll see you all on the next video.